What's going on guys? Uh, today I'm gonna start a little series on this 1992 Atasca Spirit Winnebago camper. Um, there's a little, there's a few things wrong with it. I gotta replace this weather strip right here. It's on the ground. I just have to put new screws because they're stripped out. Uh, it's got a bad fuel pump, so I'm gonna be doing that. But first, I gotta get it out of here because I cannot get under it with how low it sits to the ground because my garage goes down at a at a downhill and the back wheels are on the downhill. So, uh, we have to get it out of here. So I spent most of the day cleaning it out because there was a bunch of stuff in it, just junk that we've, because we kind of used it as storage. But now that I got all that out, we're going to start by just seeing if we can get some a little bit of electricity to it. This battery, dead, dead. Like, there is no life in it at all. I've tried charging it. I've tried dip, just about everything. Like, nothing works. It does. It's so, like, dead that it, it won't even turn over with the battery charger on it. Like, that's how dead the battery is. So, we are going to take it out. And then we are going to put this battery in. It's not the correct battery, but this is the battery that came out of it. Because, you know, it's a motorhome. So, it's got the spare battery for stuff like... Uh, the, the AC, the fridge, and you just stuff like that. The, the electrical stuff that's in there. So we're going to take this battery out and put that battery in. Just see if we can get any life out of it. So almost got it out. The wrench there. Um, also, if you guys know anything about these uh, Toyota uh, V6 3.0 EFI engines, please feel free to let me know some stuff about it in the comments because i don't know much about them i know i know like a little bit about this tractor and i know mo mainly just stuff about my truck i don't know much about this so if you could just leave a little little comment down there letting me know some stuff about this stuff i may want to know for a future when i start working on it and start changing this fuel pump that would be great. Also, a battery in right here, in there, and just see if I can get some life out of this thing. So you can watch me do that. If I can find a place to set my phone. Perfect. Very temporary battery. Oh, it's got life. We have life. We have life. Look at that. Dash lights. We have life. Ugh. Okay, the beeping stopped. But yes, we have life. That is exactly what I wanted. Okay. So, now I know the battery works. I can't get the clamp over it because it's battery but we're gonna tighten this down and then we are going to see if it turns over so stay tuned I had to sacrifice my fan for the charger but uh yeah fans off now it's gonna be now I'm gonna be like sweating but okay here we go oh lights a lot brighter now check engine oh that's a drive Ah. Oh. Hmm. It's making a clicking noise. Sounds like either a locked motor or something. I don't know, but either way, it's not good. Great, more problems. This thing has been sitting for like seven years, my dad. So, it's not a good sign. Did I trip the breaker? Because it's not even on now. I may have tripped the shop breaker. Huh. Yeah, 
shots. I'm not knowing that at all. Let me see if the lights work. Nope. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay. Why did it stop? There we go. Yeah, I just I just tripped the switches. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's put it on 35. Lights, no. Why is it not? Ah, oh, give me a second. Okay, now we have life. So 35. Hear a little bit of sparking in there. It's not good. Uh, 35 position. Okay, let's try this one more time on a lower voltage. Please just don't let this be a bad starter solenoid or something. Okay, let's park. Reverse. Neutral. Still nothing. Uh, well, we had life for like two minutes. Now the life's gone. So, I have no clue. I'll just have to dig into it more, I guess. Check the fuses, check the starter relays, all that. Because it sounded like it was just not... Like it wanted to turn over, but it was just clicking. And you know that sound that it makes when your battery's not powerful enough to turn the motor over. <clears throat> oh, let's see if I can get a breaker bar down here. See if, I, if the motor's free. It should be free. There's no reason why it shouldn't be free. <sighs> but, okay. So. Oh! These are only slightly melted, I think. I don't know what I'm looking at. Someone tell me what this is. That's a... Uh, I think that's dielectric grease, maybe. No clue. But uh, this very does not look normal. It says diagnosis. I don't know what it's diagnosing. But, yeah. Like, like I said, I know absolutely zero. Like, I know nothing about this engine. So, this is like uncommon territory for me if i blah 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 where's the starter relay i have no clue hmm this is very odd i don't know anything about this engine so i have no clue my next step would just be to pull it out of here, but can't do that today because I got to go to work soon. But yeah, I have no clue. So uh, just stay tuned. If I get something figured out, I'll let you know. Hey guys, it's uh, the next day. I've made a little bit of progress. I determined that the clicking noise from yesterday's uh, adventure on this camper, that the battery was just bad. So I got to get two new batteries. Uh -oh. Speaking of which, let me grab this one, the battery from over here. The one we had on it yesterday, I took it off through here. We're gonna set these in the pickup. I'm gonna make some series on this truck too, just not right now. Uh, the other battery that was originally in the camper, it's right there. I'm gonna take them both to Walmart and just get them exchanged and get two new batteries for it. That's gonna be a pretty penny, especially the marine one. But uh, so, what I've done since then is I fixed this weather strip. I didn't get this any of this on video because it was just a tedious process. But this whole weather strip right here was off. So what I had to do was I just had to, it wouldn't line up correctly, the holes wouldn't. So I just had to redrill holes and then tap, put screws in it and then it's right there, I got it all. Nice and ugly silicone all up on there. Uh, I already covered up the screws, otherwise I'd show you. But, yeah, hold on. This is the inside of the camper. It's a nice little camper, honestly. If I didn't need money, I'd probably keep it and go camping. Uh, there's the 
Well, there's there, that's tape that I put over it. The screws are under this the tape because the it was kind of rotted. I can show you here. Hold on. The floor was rotting. So what I did was I just took like a little top to like one of those little containers that holds bolts and stuff. And I just put some silicone around the edge and I screwed it down. That's basically what the screws look like throughout the whole thing. But yeah. So what I've been doing since then is I pulled the camper forward with my truck. If you paid any attention to detail last time, the camper was further back. So now it's for more up and I was gonna put it on ramps so I could get to this fuel tank, but I really couldn't because of this battery compartment right here. I couldn't really get to the, get a one of my, this ramp under there. So what I did was I just put a little block under the tire. But right now what I've got going is I'm draining out the uh, 10 year old gas that is in this thing. It is very bad. I didn't have anything to put it in, so I'm just letting it go on the ground. Nothing sparking around here, so I'm not really too worried about it. But uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna let all that drain out and then I'm gonna see about dropping the tank. If it's not today, it'll be sometime tomorrow. Not tomorrow, because I won't be here tomorrow. But it'll be sometime in the next week or so, because I start school again Thursday. Not looking forward to that. I don't want to go back to school at all. But, yeah. She's, it's coming along. Uh, I gotta, oh, I broke the antenna off of it yesterday. Yeah, I was not happy about that one. I've got to take the fender wheel off under here and reattach it. So that's going to be great. Yeah, that's just, that's just swell. Or I may not put it back on at all. I'll say screw it. Who needs a working radio? Just get a AM FM adapter or a AM, AM FM transmitter. I cannot talk today. But yeah, it's uh, coming along. Once I actually get it running, I'm gonna take it and get it washed and stuff, and then I'm gonna sell it. So, if any of you watching this video wants to buy a 92 Atasca Spirit Winnebago, let me know in the comments. I will get in touch with you. It's got 72,000 miles. Uh, it's just the fuel pump stopped working. It's just been sitting for too long. Uh, yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a fairly, it's a very good camper, I'll tell you that. Uh, hasn't gone many places, that's why it's got so low miles. It's sat in this garage most of its life. It's just, it's a camper. I'll show you the inside, hold on. I'll give you a good tour of the inside. Okay, starting at the door, we got just, you know, your basic door. All the weather stripping's still good. Except for right here, it looks like when some of the weather stripping from the door stuck, but... Don't worry about that. You didn't see that. Uh, fire extinguisher. No clue if that's good. Should probably check that. This little compartment. You got hoses for the septic and all that. Yep, yep. Step up. Nice wood floor. Here's a bed where you can sleep. There's a couch. A very nice couch. I mean, look, I'm six foot. Man, I mean, I can... Only part that doesn't really, like be on the couch is the top of my head so this this is a good like five and a half foot couch like it is very it's nice got a little dining area right here little table this will also turn into a bed uh this cushion comes forward and this table comes down this cushion goes forward that folds down into another bed so now you got two beds a nice couch for a third person if they wanted to sleep there you got a sink oven Oven is in very good condition. Cabinetry, a microwave, also in very good condition. Probably still works. More cabinetry, utensils and stuff. It's not a smoker. Please do not smoke in here. You will set off the fire alarms. If you want to smoke, go outside. Uh, yeah, just a nice, nice little camper. This is a printer I'm gonna take out of here. Got a fridge. Fridge probably still works. Drawers down there. Here's the bathroom. Mice got in here. I'm gonna replace all this screen. I'm gonna go to when I at Walmart. 
I'm gonna replace all that screen, just take off these screws and put new screen in. Got a nice little shower, fairly decent, adjustable head. Yep. Oh, I didn't even get that in the shot. Adjustable head, mirror, more cabinetry for your towels and stuff. I don't know what this is, but it is fairly spotty. So I'll probably take that off. Nice little sink, soap. That's been in here since the 80s, even though it's a 91, 92, sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a very nice camper. Very good condition. Just got some, you know, I guess weird stuff on the walls right there. All the hinges are good. Fire alarm. Got another screen that I have to replace. A nice little lamp for if you're reading up here. Windows. All the windows work. All the window locks work. All the screens on the windows are good. Thank goodness. Got a nice little... I don't even know what that is. Someone tell me what that is in the comments. That'd be great. Outlets. TV outlet. 12 volt plug, I think. No. Yes, 12 volt plug. Another little rack for more stuff. It's just, it's a nice camper, man. Whatever that is, I think that's for. Let's make something go up and down, apparently. Cork boards or whatever you want to tack up there. Yeah, I mean, it is just a nice, nice camper. I, I would keep it if I didn't need money. So, yeah, just let me know in the comments as long as it's a good price. I'm asking eight grand or bottom offer. It is a nice camper. So just let me know. But I'll get back to y'all when I start working on this fuel tank. I'm about to get covered in old gas. I didn't even show you guys the driver's seats. The seats are very dirty because I was standing on them when I was working on the little weather strip up there. But, yeah, I mean, nice interior. I mean, like, just look at the pristineness of this. Fence work, AC. Got, got the little level thing, the parking brake. Here's the key for it. Uh, just, I mean, absolute good condition. Like, there's not much more you could get from this. Cup holders. I don't even know how you, there you go. Yeah, I mean, it's just a very, very good Toyota owner's manual. Maybe I can find the fuel pump that I need in here. I mean, it's just, who wouldn't want this? I mean, I'll clean out that dirt and everything. It'll be like a brand new camper when you get it. Nice doors, handles are working, windows roll down. I mean, just like, who wouldn't want this to just go out to the lake on a weekend or just, you could do anything with this thing. Tires, you'll probably need new tires, I won't lie. They're a little dry rotted, this thing sat for a while. They hold air, so I mean, that's that. Uh, yeah, I mean, headlights, look at the headlights. They don't even have fog. They're not even fogged headlights. Those are still good. So, I mean, this thing is like, you cannot go wrong. You can't. It's an amazing camper. So, yeah, just let me know. But I will get back to y'all when I start on that tank. You know, as I'm down here, I recall back to yesterday when we were in the cabin, I had power to the gauge cluster that this thing had like near a full tank of gas. That's like 17 point something gallons, 17.2, I think, if I read correctly online. That is a lot. Even if it's a bad gas today, that's still probably running like 350 a gallon. Yeah. That's not, that's a lot of gas. I mean, it's, it's been like five, 10 minutes. It's still, it's still flowing. If you were wondering, yes, I do have the gas cap off so it flows better. Oh. No, still still going full speed. I thought it was I thought it was slowing down for a minute. No, it is still. It is still. I mean just like a waterfall. Like like after you've just been holding in that one that one trip to the bathroom all day. Just been holding it, it's flowing. Like a like a river. I just dropped a whole bucket of screws. Hmm. I'm gonna have to pick those up. 
Yeah. I mean, I mean, we just got, we got the Nile River, my guy. All the way down. Yeah. It's great. Hmm. Well, I will see y'all when this finishes draining. I swear to God. Five seconds later, it stops draining. Well, it's still going, but it's it's down to the end. All se all seventeen gallons have exited the tank. <sighs> now I have to figure out how I'm gonna drop it, how I'm gonna get it out from this tight space under here. People told me I could just cut a hole in the floor. I'm absolutely not doing that. I don't. I'm not cutting a hole in this floor. No, it's a, that's just a no. Not happening. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely not. So, uh, I'm, I'm dropping the tank. Yeah. Cutting a hole in the floor would probably be easier. Dropping the tank. I do not want to mess up that interior. It is too nice to cut a hole in that floor. <sighs> That's a lot of work. I mean, I'm dirty. I'm crawling under this camper on this gravel ground because whoever built this shop decided, hey, let's not put a cement floor in it. Yeah, that, that was stupid. I guess cement was expensive in 2005. <sighs> oh yeah, she's just she's just down to a drip now. Just a steady, steady little drip. I do not want to crawl back under here. Now that I'm thinking about it, is that this floor is like drenched with old gas. I will need a shower for sure. Smell with your eyes, guys. Like, you guys know, I'm sure if you're a car head, you know what old 10-year-old gas smells like. Smell with your eyes. Smell through the phone. Smell through the video. It is, it is bad. It is, it is, it is terrible. I like the smell of gasoline. I do not like the smell of this. It's bad. It's very bad. Kitty pool slip and slide to the rescue. This is gonna go on the ground underneath that camper. There is no way. God's green earth, you are catching me. Slipping and sliding under that old gasoline dirt. There's no way, not a chance. Okay, it's done draining. First, we're gonna start by applying some special kitty, kitty litter to the area. So it can sop up all this gasoline. So I'm gonna I'm gonna spread all this around here and then I will get back to y'all when I get under there. All right, kitty litter has been applied. Um, I'm starting to get lightheaded from all this gas. It is uh, pretty bad. Kitty litter is down there, but uh, I have to step outside for a second. I'm gonna kick this fan back on. <sighs> I'm actually gonna see if I can get the fan to pump out. Oh. Oh. But yeah, let's just, let's just vent that out of here. Whew. Okay, well, I'm gonna go inside and get something to eat real quick. And when I do, then I will happily come back and start on this. Because I am lightheaded and I did not eat this morning. So, yay me. Work like a man, eat like a kid. Today we're going to be feasting on Berry Colossal Crunch, the best cereal. I'm going to introduce you guys to my doggy. This is Shiva. Shiva, Shiva, Shiva. Shiva, say hi. Say hi to the Western Farm Garage people. Say hi to the viewers, even though there's not many. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. She says hello. She says hi. She can't talk. You know this. Yeah. Hi. 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 Good doggy. Okay. I'm gonna go back to my cereal now. Don't go anywhere. And you're not gonna get any, so don't even think about it. Alrighty, fellas. That guy's already run into his next snag. Um, bolts are rusted. Like, rusted, rusted. Got dirt in my mouth. Crap. Mm. I, don't get, I gotta get like a pair of safety glasses or something because there's like dirt falling in my eyes, everything. 
is not good. Uh, just climb over the algorithm. Uh, well, I got the plastic down too, by the way. It's still very, like, bad. Like, I'm sure I still smell like bad gas, especially since it's dripping on me from the plug. Um, yeah, so. Let me pop these bad boys on. But, but I said the liquid wrench. Oh, on my bumper. Pop these bad boys on. These aren't even safety glasses. These are for a splatter ball gun. We don't talk about it. Actually, I think I have actual safety glasses. No, okay, never mind. These will work. These, I use these for weed eating, so I feel like it'll work just fine. Uh, get back under here. You know, I'm gonna turn the light camera around so y'all can see the rest of the bolts. Okay, here we go. Going in. <laughs> Myself up, yeah. Look at that. Look at those rusted things. That's very not good. And we come back up here, and I'm assuming it's the same deal. Well, ow. <clears throat> yeah, more rusted bolts, and I'll have to take off this plate too. So I can get y'all up in here. Just a whole bunch of rust everywhere i don't know what y'all can see i can't see but it's just it's a little crusty that's all i can say it's very crusty actually so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna blast all this stuff with some liquid wrench and then we'll get back to you and see if i can get an air gun on it or something and just zzz, 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 zip them right off yeah well guys i will say the safety glasses didn't work too well uh I got the liquid wrench sprayed, but I got old gas dripped into this eye. So, I just gotta huh. rinse it out with some bottle of water. Now my shirt is soaked. Uh, I think I had another bottle of water somewhere. Yeah, in the bucket of the tractor. It was uh, burning badly. You guys get to witness me drenching myself. Hope you like the show. Oh, crap. Some on the end of it. Okay. Now I'm all wet for y'all. I'm just playing. Uh, yeah, so. Feels better. Uh, I'm, I, I zipped it with some liquid wrench uh so now we're gonna see if we can get an air gun see if we can get some zippy zippy going so we'll grab the air gun over here uh, the wrong door still the wrong door where's my air gun it's right in front of me okay Perfect. Now it's probably going to be millimeters, so I think 13. They look like half inch bolts. I have a 14 too, and I have, I don't think I have 15 out there. I don't think 15's in my drawer. Nope. Bummer. Okay. So, uh, let's hope that it's either 13, 14, 16, or 17, because those are the only ones I have. Watch it be 15, that'll just be my luck. But I'm gonna go under here and test fit, see if they work. <sighs> okay, so your guy figured out it is the 13 millimeter. <sighs> I sprayed it with some liquid wrench. I am absolutely soaked. Like, this is just not even funny. Uh, feels very weird, my shirt's very heavy. I miss, I'm gonna change, I might go and get a different shirt. But uh, yeah. So I got it sprayed with liquid wrench, so we're gonna let it sit for a minute and I'll come back and I'll see if I can get those off. Two hours later. Well, about two hours later, in a cracked phone screen, I'm sorry I did not get any of it on video. You wouldn't have wanted to see it anyway. It was just a bunch of cussing and just ungodly stuff. It was just, it was not okay. 
but fuel tank's out. <sighs> it took pain, cramps, everything under the sun, you name it, but I got it. It is out. <sighs> now, my next issue is getting these rusted screws out. I doused them with liquid wrench. I don't know how well that'll do, but we'll see. Uh, it is a very tight squeeze under there. I had to actually jack up the camper, as you can see, just to get the tank out of there because I had it lifted up on that block, but that block still wasn't enough. The tank was too tall. I had to lift up the side of the camper, but it's out now, and I have got to go clean up and get ready for work. So... I will see y'all in the next video when I get the new pump in and I start working on putting the new pump in and putting it back in there. So stay tuned. I'll see you then. Adios.